This is Isaiah chapter 32 verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Khan, Shalom, this is Brother Matazar. This is the Brother Tazayar. Before we open up, we're going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaqadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all Akiyam out here that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Also to you, uh, Aquas, that's out here that's uh, learning in uh, humility and obedience. Shalom. All right. Uh, basically, we're going to go into a lesson, you know, right now because this, le this lesson is basically uh, based on, you know, what's going on right now with the government shutdown. And, uh, you know, how like our women are walking around here being haughty, disrespectful, being disobedient right now. This is the time, you know, for you to either repent, you know, or be destroyed, man. OK, go ahead, brother. Read that again. Con, this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse nine. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Right. Rise up, you women that are at ease, man, that are comfortable in America. All of you women are out here comfortable with your government benefits, your uh, your welfare, you know, your child support, your your uh, social security, uh, section eight, you know, etc. Whatever it is, even with your good jobs, <clears throat> all you women out here with your good jobs, man, your your, your good jobs that you know got the good benefits, government jobs, government jobs mainly, you know, you know, hey, the, the scripture said to rise up. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, basically, if you go into that word rise up, which is H6965, if you can read that, Baba Kusha. Yes, it says uh, Quam, translation, that, that, from the Hebrew. That's what, yeah, Quam means to rise up in the Hebrew. Quam means to rise in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Kind of says to rise, arise, stand, rise up, stand up. To arise, become powerful. No, we're not talking about that. To arise, come on the scene, to stand, to maintain oneself, to, to be established, be confirmed. Basically, to rise, man. Rise, right. Basically, <clears throat> wake up. Wake the hell up. Matter of fact, go to uh, Romans 13 and 11, <coughs> you know, and then come back to this, Baba Kusha. Come on, this is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time that now is high, now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right, right now is the time right now to wake up out of the sleep, out of it being at ease. Right now, you see what's going on in the news, you know, and that that be the Lord's mercy. You know what I'm saying? Because he's showing you, you know what I'm saying, with the government shutdown. This can get worse, you know, a whole lot worse than what you think. You you know, because what you're accustomed to is oh, uh, things getting fixed, you know. But this might be a time where it, not, it might not get fixed. You know, uh, they, they're talking about it already cutting off uh, uh, welfare, man. Food stamps mainly, you know, food stamps are going to be cut off, man. And you're not going to have no support. You know, you're going to have to have you're going to have to get a man. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, what I'm saying to get, you know, get support, man, because uh, uh, you're not going to be having no welfare, man. Right. man. Because a lot of you women, y'all think it's comfort. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that's why the scripture says, Arise, you women that are at ease. Because you women are all about comfort, man. And this is going to put you in an uncomfortable situation. Right. You're yeah. going to have to decide, man, how you're going to do what you need to do to survive. And we got examples like that in Venezuela, man. You had doctors and lawyers and judges and, 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 and police officers, women, all right, selling their bodies just so their children can eat. No, and they was cool with that because at least they children have food in their mouths, man. You sure. women, you women, you women has been put on a pedestal, man. And now this is your how about you never shot, knocking you down, putting you in order, man. Right, Con, <clears throat> right. You finna finally be pulled out of that comfortability mm -hmm. that you've been used to and accustomed to, man. Okay? That's what's going to happen. That's what's happening right now, man. It's It's more to that. Yep, it is. It says Isaiah 32 and 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Yeah, many days and many years shall you be troubled, man. You're going to be in a lot of trouble, man. 
You know, keep reading. It's going to go into it. Yep, kind of. It says, for the vintage shall fail. Right, the vintage is going to fail, man. Your comfortability, your welfare, all of that is going to fail. You're not, you're not going to have anywhere <coughs> to uh, run to. Hmm. It says, the gathering shall not come. Right, the gathering is not going to come. The help is not going to come, man. You're not gonna come. You're not gonna, you know, uh, uh, find that that uh, that uh, that ease anymore, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. Yeah, because you know what, man. A lot of you wicked ass women out there, man. It's not talking to the sisters that's in the in the right, being trying to be as righteous as they can be, trying to uh, perform and do righteous, you know, towards the men of the Lord. But it's uh more more likely going into those who's not trying to uh, uh to conform and be healed, man. All right, it's going into you women. Hey, man, you women, you use the government against the so-called uh, black men, Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. You know the system is systematically set up for us to be at the bottom of the totem pole. And you helped Esau kick us while we was down, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You keep you help this devil, man. Keep his foot in our neck, man. You deny us, you know what I'm saying, for certain benefits. Even, even all the way to the smallest things, man, like getting an apartment, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You 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 women are wicked as hell, man. Hey, here it is, man. You know, you women have have you will have a child just so you can have good income tax checks, man. You know, or, not even for the sake of having a child, or not even just for good income tax checks, man. Also for um, food welfare, stamps. food stamps, all child, of that, man. Child support, any kind of way to come low, up, low income housing, right? Any way, any way <clears> to come <throat> up, man. You throw you throwing your uh, men under the bus. And then you'll turn around and say, oh, they, they, they did this and did this to me and did that to me and this and that and that. But you women are wicked as hell any damn way, man. Because he ain't even have to do all that. He could have been the nicest dude in the world, man. You didn't give a fuck, man. Go ahead. It says, tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Which means, hey, man, turn away from your wickedness and your evils, man. Those of you who are going to listen, that's going to get right. The Lord is calling on to you right now. Turn away from your wickedness and, and turn back unto him while the chances are still given to you to do so, man. Right. And the only way you can do that is through the scriptures. It says, what, man, your covering is going to be a man of the Lord, man. You know? If you go back <clears throat> into that verse 9, Baba Kusha, and read that again. It says, uh... Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Mm -hmm. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Right, and to get an ear to the to the Lord's speech, basically what the brother is saying, and, they, and, it, and basically to get a uh, uh, ear to the Lord's speeches now. But the men of the Lord are on the highways and the byways preaching this gospel, man, because the Lord has sent us. That's why he said it's high time to wake up out of sleep, and the Lord has given Israel, the nation of Israel. Uh, uh, mercy after mercy, warning after warning, man. Because here it is, the men of the Lord out here signing and crying and uh, sounding off like a trumpet. You know what I'm saying? giving you, Prophesying, giving you the warnings and showing it to you through the scriptures, man, and what time it is, what season it is, and you're not listening, man. This is the time right now to wake up out of that damn, out of that damn slumber. And if you don't wake up, man, hey, you're going to get destroyed, man. You're going to get caught up in all of this, man. Micah 7 and 9. Hmm. This is, uh, I got some 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. And uh, it reads, because this is the order of things, man. Hold on, Salaki. Let me grab that, brother. This, this is the order of things, all right? You said, what, where are you going to? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. We're well, starting off. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. <coughs> It says, for a man indeed are not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and glory of the power, but the woman is the glory of the man. 
All right. So you women, man, you 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 supposed to be a, a, a image of your husband, man. You know, and you wicked ass women, man. You you put your husband's way. You know what I'm saying? You uh, uh, uh you know you you divorce him, try to take all his money. You know what I'm saying? Using the government and the, and the system to do so. You know, you do everything in your power in this in this society to bring a man down, man, because it's in your power to do so. It says for the man is not of the woman. But the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So here it is, man. You women, you was created for us, man. Right. Okay? So, and due to this system and the things that these people Esau gave you, you you, you fucking destroying us, man. Trying to help destroy us. Giving men heartaches, man. As the scripture says, man, the man go out his wits for women, man. You know why? Because men, men was put on this earth to love their woman, to cleave unto their woman. But you got them hard lots, you made it hard out here for a man to do so, man. You know? Why? Because you converted into this world, man. You, and you left the man behind and said, I'm an independent woman. I'm going to do what I want to do. You know? Can't no man tell me what the fuck to do. Because why? You got you got Esau backing you up, man. Right. And, and that just basically goes back to, like, if you read up some more in that same chapter, go back up to... Uh, Praying. No, no, no. Go back up to First uh, Corinthians chapter uh, 1. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 11 and 1, Slaki. And you go back, you can read from there. Basically, you know, you forgot the Heavenly Father. And, you know, who you are. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole point in case. You know what I'm saying? And it, basically, you betrayed us. You know what I'm saying? You betrayed the men, you know what I'm saying, of Israel and, and the Heavenly Father. Slaki, the Heavenly Father. Come. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and you took... You took the side of the so-called white man who gave you liberties, you know what I'm saying, to do whatever you want to do, basically. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, he set it up where he gave you 911 and all of these other gifts. So basically, if your nigga man or your your uh, spick man get out of line, you can call 911. Hey, which is against the Lord's laws and covenants, yep. man, because the scripture says, meddle not another man's affair. That's right. So y'all, they, they, Esau is everything country. Con contradictory to the scriptures in the Lord, man, you know, and hey, 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 you women, man, and you use that, you use that to try to destroy us, man, you use that to try to, try to, you know, to keep their, to, 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 do, to do what they want to do, to keep their liberties, to be free, to be wicked, to do what they want to do, man, yep. you know what I'm saying, they don't, they don't want to be followers of the Israelite men, they don't want to be followers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Read that, brother Bob Kushai. Yep, Khan. It's a First Corinthians eleven and one. Mm -hmm. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all th all things and keep the ordinance as I delivered them to you. Right, the ordinances, you know what I'm saying, come from the heavenly ordinances. father. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the ordinances come from the heavenly father, Yahabashim Yahusha, which is the law, such as commandments, to the best of our ability. Because we're right now, we're in the lands, we're in the four corners of the earth, where we can't keep them fully. You know, so we're, we're saved under grace now because of that. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got these ordinances, man, to try to keep to the best of our abilities, you know. But Esau, what did he do? He made up a, face, a fake God, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ and God, you know, and told you basically all you got to do is do this and do that. And then you saved, hmm. which is bullshit, you know. Basically, trying to keep you from out of your uh, your uh, customs and your traditions, keep you away from serving the Heavenly Father and serving your men, so just so he can keep your men down because the Israelite men are powerful because we are the sons of the Heavenly Father, Yasharala. And, right. and this devil know that, man. And he knows once we raise up, that's the end of his rule, man. So that's why he used you silly women, you silly Israelite women against us. He put y'all against us, man. Just so he can keep his foot down on our neck longer. So he can keep the rule, you know. But I see the Heavenly Father, you know, that's not gonna stop, that's not gonna stop any damn thing, man. Mm -hmm. Because the men of the Lord are waking up in all the four corners of the earth right now, man. They're waking up every day, man. This Israelite men waking up every day, man. This place is done, man. You know, and, and whatever this devil trying to do, even use y'all, man. Y'all going to get caught up if you don't repent. Mm -hmm. You're going to get caught the fuck up, man. And you're going to get put to death along with your father. Yep. 
Esau, the so-called white man. If you don't know who Esau is, so-called mm -hmm. white man who's the devil that the Bible speaks of, you're going to get put the devil right along with your father, the devil, man. If yeah. you don't repent. Go ahead, read, brother. Because hey, the world is done, and so is the ways of this world. That's man. that's right. That's right, man. You the, know. Yep. Hey, hey Paul said, uh, uh, sort not authority over your husbands, man, over a man. You will, a woman should not assert authority over a man. And you know, you, this is what this world has come to. This is a feminized ass world, man. That's right. You know, what a, what, sorry. it's a fem <clears throat> like you said, they're feminized. You know, you got all these men out here worshiping you, women. You know, bowing down at you, because it's an effeminate society. Nobody likes truth. Nobody likes, you know, what I'm saying how the way it's supposed to be, man. It's not, it's not mentally men out here no more, man, because they catering to these damn women. You know, being simps. But, hey, those days are over with, man, soon, man. It's going to be a day when 911 is going to be dead, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 911 ain't going to work no more. You ain't going to be able to call the police. You ain't going to be able to call your father the devil, Esau, to come save you out of them jams, man. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of you out here. You're going to be getting raped out here, man, put to death, you know, because your wicked is all hell, man. You women are wicked, man. And the Lord is going to destroy you, man. You're going to get punished by your how about Shimei I was shy, man. Because, man, you don't, you, you don't want to repent, man, and humble down to the Lord. Not to us. To the Lord, man. That, man that's why you're going to get destroyed, man. Because you're not, you're not hearkening to the words of the Lord, man. You, you wicked women, man. You careless daughters of Zion. Which, if I may... Uh exemplify yeah hey he's saying not to us because of the lord but hey the lord used men too so at the same time yeah to us as well that, it, it, read uh smack <clears throat> here uh hold you. that you got it. no it's the same thing it's the same thing going to it i got another preset to go with that real quick baba kusha that's why i'm asking you to pull it up baba kusha and come back to that it's in the book of uh luke 10 and 16 This is Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So yeah, you're, you're despising the Lord, man. The Lord sent us. So you know, we speak in the words of the Lord. We speak out of the scriptures. We don't speak out of our own minds. We don't lean on our own understanding. We just speak in the words of the Lord to you. And all of you women that's despising it and not, not taking heed, man, you're going to get destroyed. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I will have you know, know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is the power. Right, the and power. this is coming out of the words, <clears throat> out of the word of the Heavenly Father. Like I said just a little while ago, hey, this is this is in the scriptures. The Lord set up an order, okay? It's, it's the most high, it's the son of the most high, and it's the man, and then the woman. That is the order it's supposed to be in. And if you're not, if you're not falling in that order, you're, you're, you're uh, out of the will of the Heavenly Father. And if you're out of the will of the Heavenly Father, you, you're heading toward destruction. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that was basically. that's basically it. That's the point on that. You got something else on that? Yeah, man. Cause you, you women, man, you've been uh, you've been led astray. You know, you've been led astray to believe that you know this was the way that you know you was able to be, man. But uh, this is uh, Isaiah. Three and six. Uh, three and sixteen. Yeah. Start at twelve. <clears throat> kind. It says, "As for my people." Children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to earth. Right, women are ruling over who, man, right now? They be ruling over they women, over their children, and over their men. You know, and they causing the men, they causing uh the Israelite men to err, the Israelite uh, little girls to err, the Israelite little boys to err, because the women are ruling. The Lord don't deal with women, man. He deal with men. And they and they and, and they and the reason why they causing them the air, cause 
they they falling behind the philosophies of this this world, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because what they was taught, man, they was taught, you know, through the f- philosophies of this world, and that we're gonna put our kids first before the man. Kind, yeah. You know, and then we're gonna deal with our men. You know, which is fucking backwards, man. You know, because it's supposed to be the the Most High, the Son Yahweh Shai, the man, the woman, the children. All right. But they even put the children over you, man. Which shows you, you know, what this world is about, man. It's all backwards, okay? It says, um, they cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Right, because you got guys out here that's effeminate as hell because of they damn woman. They cause them, you know, they be like, yes, dear, happy wife, happy life. You know, they cause, they cause, they cause people to err, man. Against the heavenly Father, man, the Lord don't. The Lord, the scriptures say that no effeminate shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, man, because you ain't supposed to be contrary to the heavenly Father. If you, if you, being effeminate, man, you contrary to the heavenly Father. You're not no man. You acting like a woman, man, being a woman and shit, being backwards and shit in this society, man, man, you mm-hmm. you you gonna get destroyed by your how about Shimei Shai, man? You ain't gonna get into the kingdom, man. You supposed the scriptures say to gird up thy loins and man up. You supposed to be able to gird up your loins, man, and man up, man. You supposed to be able to accept if that bitch don't like you or not because you because you represent the truth. If she leave you, she leave you. Fuck her. You know what I'm saying for the man for to be a man of the Lord, man. That's the things you got to go through. Go ahead. Turn it says Yahweh was standing up to plead and standing to judge the people. <coughs> it says. Isaiah 3 and 14. Yahweh will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up the vineyard. The spoil of the poor is in your houses. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith Yahweh the power of hosts. Moreover, and it's the point, Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and you go into that word haughty, man. I mean, like proud. <clears throat> kind. And, and, and they are. You can see it. You can see the haughtiness in the daughters of Zion. But you can go ahead and get that word out for, uh, for uh, edification. Kind. It says, uh, Nata. All right. It says, to stretch out, extend, spread out, pitch, turn, pervert, incline, bend, bow. Basically, they, 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 perverted man you know they next they stretched out all right man because here it is in this society is that proud <clears throat> they don't go they don't say proud but you know stretched out you know oh yeah yeah haughty yeah, <clears throat> haughty the word haughty yeah because you try to you try to talk to these women man in a respectful manner and things of that sort and this and this woman is sit here and fucking treat you as if you, you said something wrong to her or something man Disrespect you on all type of levels, man. You know, cause they think they they think they're of high standard in this place. All right, and they look down on you. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't look a certain way. You're not dressed a certain way. Or you're not in their standards making them enough money, man. You know. That's because society has made them gods. Kind. Of. And that's what it is. You know, this society has made these women out of gods. They're idols. You know. They not they not uh that's the reason why they had that mentality, that arrogant ass, proudful, haughty way. You know? Uh so called white men and, and also Israelite men and all these other nations. They made these women out of these damn gods, man. Hey, and all for what? Because these women can shake their ass. That's it. That's it, that's all, man. So they try to do whatever they can do to get these women. Even even um you know, worship them. Uh, you know, go ahead, brother. It says, uh, it says, and walk with stretched forth necks, yep, and wanton eyes, lusting, all right, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet, looking for attention, yep, clicking their heels, look at me. Go ahead. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, right, and that's why all of you. So called, uh, you, actually, you Southern Kingdom Israelite women, so called uh, Negroes, West Indies, 
and uh, so-called Haitian women. Mm-hmm. You, you got the short hair. You get, that's why your hair is real short because of how many fathers smited you. You know, you, you, your hair is supposed to be your glory. That's why you got to wear all that weave and them wigs and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Because, because, man, the Heavenly Father did that to you. Mm. Because of your proudness, your haughtiness, you know? Mm-hmm. And they still got it on them. Hmm. Even with that, man. Even with it. Hiding your shame, man. Yep. But yet, still making this, though, loving yourself. You're not loving yourself if you got a blonde-ass wig on, Joe. Yep. It says, and Yahweh will discover their secret parts. And, man, he's going to expose you women, man. All right? In that day, man, while you all out here, you know, sleeping in your slumber and in your comfort in this wicked-ass place, right now, that government shut down, got you women panicking, man. And your true nature is finna be exposed, man. That's what's finna happen, man. You're gonna realize that you wasn't strong and as independent as you thought you were. Because you had all this government assistance and it, and it aided in you to be able to say that you were such like that. And it's gonna show, with all that is gone and said and done, it's gonna show you that, man, you was nothing but a woman. All right? In need of a man. Because the government stepped in and it, and it played the man. But now that the government is taking away his gifts from you, you're going to really need a man. And in that day, that's when you're going to realize it, man. Oh, yeah. All them independent women that say that I don't need a man, you know, you finna find, you finna finally realize that you really do. Because the Lord is finna notch, knock you down a few notches. Go ahead. Hmm. This is uh, uh, Isaiah 3 and 18. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and right, their... All, right, all that pride, you know what I'm saying? And haughtiness and arrogancy. The Heavenly Father finna take that away, man. You're gonna be walking around here humble and shit, looking for help, you know? Looking for protection from men of the Lord. And you're not gonna get it, man. All of you wicked women are not gonna get that protection from the men of the Lord. You're gonna get denied. Go ahead. And their cars and their round tires like the moon. Right. Talking about your cars, all your pride, all of that shit, man. The Heavenly Father's going to take it away from you. You're going to finally, you finally know how, you're going to finally find out how to be a humble, submissive woman. Go ahead. I got a precept for you. Go ahead. Because this is what the scripture says, man. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah 32. I'm going to start at the top. It says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. A man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. And a- <laughs> right, a man is going to be a hiding place from the wind, man. And that wind means like a, a, a destruction. destruction. Let me get that, Revelation 7. Uh, you can if you want to. Come on. And I'm going to just jump back to that, man. Yep. This is how the scriptures told us to do it, man. Here a little, there a little. Precept. All right. Precept. Come. Huh. This is Revelation 7 and 1. And it says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Right, that's talking about the time of the end of the world, and it's talking about the uh, nuclear thermal missile fire. That's what that's representing, that wind. Mm-hmm. And right now, it's being held back until all the elect be sealed, really, to the men of the Lord all be sealed, man. And, and uh, it's like it. all, the whole one-third of Israel be sealed, mm-hmm. even the aquas, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, and the children of Israel be uh, uh, of that one-third number be say, uh, sealed. Then the destruction is going to come. That wind, that dangerous wind is a, is a representation of fire in the scriptures. Okay. So I'm going to jump back to Isaiah 32. Con. And two. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. Right. From that wind, from that terrible fire, that terrible destruction. Meaning basically he's going to be your covering. And you can go find that in. Uh, Second Timothy. Yep. Second Timothy. He shall be saved by childbearing. That's one of them. And then there's another one, uh, 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 Isaiah 4, verse 1. Oh, yeah, come. 
Yeah. It says, and a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and the com- covert. You can go to that word covert. It says covering, shelter. All right. So a shelter, man, a hiding. Right. right. Okay. So like, yeah, it's not just going to be any man. It's going to have to be a man of the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know, because any man can't be a covering for you. You know, it's got to be a man of the Lord, man. Go ahead. And a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. Okay. So uh, it, that's, that's what it's, it says. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim. And the ears of them that hear shall hearken. So hey, this is the time where you women should start hearkening into these words that these words is being said, man. Right. The Lord said to seek him while he can be found. Mm-hmm. And right now, this is still the time where he can be found, where you still got the men of the Lord teaching on YouTube and teaching in the highways and the byways. This is the time right now for repentance. Mm-hmm. You know, why the Lord can be found. But once the doors of mercy close, when you can't find the men of the Lord no more, Hey man, hey, that's it, man. All right, not you should you should hearken, you should hearken while you had the chance, man. All right, not All right. to be listening to these videos and getting into your feelings and being prideful. Con, yep, that's right, because that's you just what you got a lot of Israelites doing. Even some of these men out here doing that, you know, getting all puffed up, man. But that's another lesson. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> this is Isaiah four and one. Yep, it says, "In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man." saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right. And it, it is going to come down to that. You know, it's going to come down to where you're going to be looking for the men of the Lord, man. And you're going to be saying that. You know, because you're going to be looking for that covering, that protection. You know, you're going to be looking for the men of the Lord to cover you and protect you, man, from, from, the, uh, from the perilous times that's coming, man. You know? And if you don't got enough, then we can go ahead and close up. I need to finish off this. Oh, go ahead. It's that First Timothy. And I'm going to start at 12. Go ahead. It mm-hmm. says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to absorb authority over the men, right. but to be in silence. Right. All these women pastors out here teaching, you know, they're not going to, they, they can't be your covering. You know, all of that. And, and you women, you, you they need, even no women pastors, man. You know, they need to be uh, a subject up under the men of the Lord and, and, and learn in silence. All of you women. And it's going to come down to that, man. Go ahead. For Adam was the first form, then Eve. Right. The most high. And he did that for a reason, man, because he's all about order. The heavenly father's all about an order, man. He set it up for that for that reason, that way. It's the man and then the woman. You women are not supposed to be in front of us in no kind of way, man. You know, that's why this, this that's why this whole society has to be destroyed, man. Because everything is backwards here. Everything is contrary to the Heavenly Father, man. Every order has to be restored on earth, man. And that's what's happening. And that's this is the process that's happening right now. The, the order is gonna come back soon, man. Everything put back in play in the right place is righteousness. It's all righteousness, man. Everything else is all contrary and wickedness. How the way it's set up right now. But the Lord finna put righteous restore righteousness in the earth, man. Kahaloyim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's what we waiting for. That's what we want. We want that right now, today. It says, and Adam mm-hmm. was not deceived, but the woman being deceived. Was in the transgression. That's right. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. Right. You're going to be saved in childbearing. You know, you're going to be, you're going to be saved through a man of the Lord. Hold on. It's cold. I say this right. Yeah. If. See, there's an if to that, man. That's right. And yep. some of you wicked ass women may have children by the prophets of the Lord, man. But guess what? Only if they continue in faith. In charity and holiness with sobriety. Meaning is you know your goddamn place. You know what I'm saying? And, and you and you stay and you hold hold fast to that, man. Right. And the key word is says sobriety. Go to it. Yeah, go into it. Yeah. Kind of. Soundness of mind. Sign a soundness of mind, man. And you're not drunk off the uh, philosophies of Esau, the so called white man. 
You're not drunk up off these philosophies of this world, man. You sober. That means you, the Lord has quickened you. You know, enlighten you. Hmm. Go ahead. And it says self-control. Right, self-control, man. Meaning you, you in humility and humbleness, you know, up under your husband, man. Learning in quietness and meekness. All right? That's it. Okay. With that, we're going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone at Ruwell. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out there that's preaching this truth and truth and sincerity. And to all you uh, Aquas that's out here learning and uh, um, humility and um, quietness. Shalom. Shalom. Sure.